going to talk about is the defense player, or some people like to call them the sniper players or the back players um, that are out there playing woods ball. And I know a lot of people try to do the the um, you know the one shot one kill. <laughs> doesn't really work in paintball very much. Okay, first off, um, you know, first off, most of the time people are wearing multiple layers of padding. Okay, and if they're wearing you know BDUs or something like that, that's even more padding. So it may be one shot, one bounce. Something else too, you got to keep in mind or that you got to be careful about is there are some guns that even though they sound like they're going to be good sniper guns, they're really not. Um, I can't. I, I've had a, quite a few times where I've had somebody out there with like a shocker trying to play sniper one shot one kill that was a disaster because as I'm getting out there I hear this you know the the, the shocker puff okay because the shocker boards don't have first shot drop off or anti bolt stick um, I walk right up on a guy and he goes to pull the trigger and he gets shocker puff shocker puff is when um, you pull the trigger and it just goes and nothing comes out of it okay it's because it doesn't have anti bolt stick die guns are pretty good they've got anti bolt stick but shocker guns do not um, something else I had one time was uh, a guy with a Tipman A5, and he uh, went to pull the he went to pull the trigger on me and had me dead on in his sights. But his <laughs> his cyclone didn't feed a ball, so he pulled the trigger. It dry fired, which was ungodly loud. And now I knew exactly where he was at. By the time he got the second shot off, I had already moved and I came up on him. That's happened a couple times. Um, Another thing is is the pump guns. Um, I've seen people with pump guns try to do the one shot one kill, and uh, you know since pump guns don't have the detents, you know the balls can roll out of the barrel. He pulled the trigger and dry fired. So I'm, as I'm walking over here, boom, and I look over and it's a pump gun about to cock to shoot another one. He he tipped his gun towards the ground and the ball rolled out. So if you're going to try to do the one shot one kill thing. You know, definitely look into a, a, a good gun that when you pull the trigger, it's got eyes to make sure that there's a ball actually in the chamber so you don't dry fire. Um, you know, make sure it's got anti-bolt stick to make sure that if you're sitting there for, for 20 minutes with the gun on and then you pull the trigger that one time, then the gun's going to shoot. Now, something else too, some guns will shut off on their own. So some guns have got uh, um, battery saving technology in case you leave them on. I've seen that happen to players. I've walked up on them, they go pull the trigger and nothing happens. Because their uh, their the the gun that they have, whatever it was, had the uh, the the battery the the battery saving technology, and when they pulled the trigger, nothing came out. So if you're going to try to do that, make sure that your equipment is is set up correctly for the length of time that your game is. Okay, whether it's 10, 20, 30 minutes or whatever. Something else too. A lot of halo loaders, even reloader bees, and some of the new boards that are coming out now with loaders. If you don't use them for like 10 minutes, the batteries shut the loader off. The battery saving technology. Well. If you're going to try to do a one shot, one kill, and you're out there sitting there waiting for 30 minutes for that one shot, and you go to pull the trigger and your loader doesn't work and your, and your gun shuts off or something like that, obviously you're going to have problems. So that's, that's some of the things I'll definitely take a look at. Now one, um, I know some people like that position. A couple of my really good friends love getting dressed up in the ghillie suits and stuff like that. If that's what you like to play, that's what you like to play, I'm not going to bash it. Is it kind of boring? Yeah, because... If you win half the games and lose half the games, well, if you're sitting back by the base, one, you're not running anywhere. Um, you know, so it kills any of the point of, you know, trying to, trying to get some exercise when you play paintball. Two, if your team goes up and wins the game, well, you're just kind of sitting back there by yourself. Um, you know, and, and three, it's, it's, you know, it's just not, some people really like it, but, you know, I've, I've had people try to take one shot, one kills off of me, and not only either A, they've missed, B, the ball has bounced, or three, they've actually got me. The odds are, with a one shot, one kill, doesn't happen really too often in paintball. You need to get a nice stream on somebody to make sure that you get a break. Because if you don't, if the ball doesn't break on them, they're not out. You may have hit them, but if the ball doesn't break, they're not out. So, let's, let's go ahead and reverse the tables a little bit. And I'm going to show you a play really quick on how to sniff out a ghillie suit. So instead of showing you how to be a good uh, ghillie suit back player slash sniper. I'm going to show you how to get them because there's more front players than there are ghillie suits. So I'm going to give you a play really quick showing you how to get these little these little ghillie suit bastards. Okay. This player right here is what I like to call like a little ghillie suit flush out. Now I'm going to try to show you what exactly is going on here. Um, this, this is the name of the player. This player right here, this is the ghillie suit. This is the sniper, okay? 
He's sitting up here. All these guys are pushing up, pushing up. And what happens here? So you've got a front player, front player, mid, 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 back, back, back here. Okay, and then you've got a sniper up here. This is one of these guys that are just completely, completely decked out in, in ghillie suit. You have no idea where he's at. Okay, front player moves up. You know, as he's moving up, ghillie suit takes a shot. Boom. Okay, let's say, for instance, he hits him or he doesn't hit him or whatever. Okay, it makes no difference. Let's say, for instance, he hits him. So he's out. Here's what happens. This guy now realizes that there's a ghillie suit up there. All of these guys realize there's a ghillie suit up there. Nobody saw where the shot came from. Here's one of the best things you can do to flush out a ghillie suit. Take this mid player right here. He kind of drops back a little bit and hides right here. Now he digs in deep, okay? He finds a real good spot, lays down in the prone position, sits there and waits. Everybody else all makes it very clear and obviously clear, hey, there's a guy up there with a ghillie suit. Let's all drop back and go over to the left side. Okay, let's all drop back. He drops back, moves back, this guy drops back, this guy drops back, this guy drops back, this guy drops back. Now this guy with a ghillie suit is going to look and he's going to see all these players now moving over to the other side of the field. He's going to be like, well, shoot, there's nobody here to shoot at, okay? They all just, I took out one player, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, how many players, and they all just ran to the other side of the field. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to sneak up around behind them, and I'm going to shoot them on the back. So he starts inching up, inching up, inching up, inching up, thinking, okay, all these people are over here, so I'm just going to keep inching up, inching up. Well, guess what? He didn't take, he didn't count properly how many people all dropped back. He didn't see this mid player sitting right here waiting for him. Boom, mid player takes out the guy in the ghillie suit, and then now all these people come back and push up past him. So basically what you do is, is the, you give the ghillie suit the illusion that your whole team has dropped back and gone to the other side. He now thinks that he's got a clear route to go around behind him, but doesn't see this guy doing the, uh, the ghillie suit flush out, sitting here and waiting. Now most of the time, as this guy is going down the field, all of these players are going to be all over here, so he's going to be looking over there as he's walking back down the field to go and shoot these guys in the back. He has no idea this guy is waiting for him. So you guys want to practice a really good way to flush out a ghillie suit? This is an awesome way to flush out a ghillie suit. So there's one of the plays I'm showing you how to flush out a ghillie suit player. Um, now, as a back player, you're usually waiting. You're trying to do, basically you're either A, trying to take out their entire team as they run up and push up on you, or B, you're trying to get the time to, to, to wing out. Even though you're going to tie the game, you're basically just trying to make sure that the other team does not win. So whether you win or the other team wins or whatever. Now, something else too is that if you take out everybody that's there in front of you, Okay, well now it's your turn to go up there and try to win the game. Don't just settle for a tie. Make a push. You've been sitting there for 30 minutes. Why not go and try to make a push? So that's probably about some of the best advice I can give you for, for back mid players. I don't play back or mid players. I'm too antsy. I'm too aggressive to sit in the same spot for 30 minutes with bugs crawling all over me to try to get that one kill. I'm going to try to play up front, shoot out their whole team, and then come back around them and end up battling my own team anyway. So... That's, uh, that's kind of my quick show on how to be a good back player. There's not much to it. Dress up in full camouflage, sit there and wait till they come and get you, or just sit there as your other team wins the game. I don't know, playing back is kind of boring for me, but some people really enjoy it. So hope this helps.